on June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3 by 3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. Location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Hello, my name is Naswa Spectra Aurora, or you can call me Naswa. I am from Surabaya, East Java, Indonesia. I am 13 years old, and currently I am studying at the Junior High School from Sidoarjo in first grade. In this International Co-Space Online Challenge, I participate in Co-Space Rescue First Step United category. I am interested in robotics and have been studying robotics for four years. I have studied several types of robots, like underwater robot, like robot, and autonomous drone. I have participated in robot competition, including International Islamic School Robot Olympiad in the robot soccer asymmetric in 2018 and 2019. Wonderful Indonesia Robot Challenge in the underwater robot category in 2018 and autonomous drone in 2019. I start learning about the co space rescue platform about two weeks ago. I have this strategy in this competition. I program the robot to run across the arena and also use ultrasonic sensor to detect walls. If the robot detects walls, the robot will sense left or right and the robot will move to the direction where there are no walls. When the robot is thrown in the arena, the robot also looks for objects by scanning color in the arena by using an RGB sensor. The color that must be detected and taken by Tom robot are red, black, and cyan. After the robot takes the object, the robot places the object on the orange floor. Robot must not pass the blue color contained in yellow. If the robot pass the trap in blue, then the score obtained in selecting object will be lost. I am very happy. I can participate by RCAP Cold Space Robot because I don't need to set up robot charge the battery on the robot and don't need to prepare a large arena. Especially in this pandemic situation, I can still can participate in this competition only from home. I am very grateful to be able to enter the competition because I can use the holiday to do something new and useful. I hope I can participate again in the next rescue and my dream when I go to college. I can participate in robotic at home. Thank you. Hello. I'm Glenda Tan from Singapore, and I participated in the Cold Space Rescue First Steps U19 category. I was first introduced to robotics 
after joining my school's robotics club in 2017, and it has become one of my favourite hobbies. I love the process of building and programming robots, and have taken part in competitions such as the World Robotics Olympiad and RoboCup. These competitions have taught me many invaluable lessons. This year, I decided to participate in the iCo Challenge to broaden my knowledge in robotics. Besides that, I have never taken part in cold space before and wanted to apply what I know in this new competition. Here are some strategies that I use to optimize my robot's performance. First, I program my robot to move at a faster speed in areas without traps. Previously, my robot had traveled at a fixed speed for it to avoid the traps in time. However, I noticed that it was traveling too slowly in the areas without traps when it could actually move faster, and this ate into the time. By implementing this strategy, my robot had more time to collect and deposit the colored objects, and my score improved. Another strategy that I implemented was to adjust the deposit threshold based on the time. For the first four and a half minutes of the game, my robot would deposit at the deposit zone only if it had collected more than three objects. This is because I observed that the object my robot was lacking to make a complete set was often on the other side of the deposit zone. If the deposit threshold was zero, the robot would deposit everything it had collected and miss out on collecting the complete set. Thus, Setting the deposit threshold at 3 will increase the chances of it depositing a complete set of red, cyan and black objects, in turn getting more bonus points. Finally, my robot would lower the deposit threshold to 0 in the last 30 seconds of the game. In this way, it could deposit all the objects it had collected before the game ends, further maximizing my score. To me, Cold Space has been an enjoyable and enriching learning experience. Through this competition, I have grown to be a more resilient person. Although my robot did not work well sometimes and I got frustrated, I learned to keep calm in the face of challenges and troubleshoot the problem. Finally, being able to debug these problems gave me a great sense of satisfaction. Cold Space has also helped me to develop my creative problem-solving skills. When programming the robot, I learned to think out of the box and come up with different ideas to maximize my robot score. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue Robot is depositing.
Red Robot is full. Red Robot needs to make a deposit before it can continue collecting. Blue Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. One minute left! Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations!